Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you what's on my Android phone December 2016. It's been a tough year and now we are all over it. Uh, there's going to be a big update of the channel. There are going to be uh, many changes, which include for me starting to show on a video and a lot of uh, new innovative content. I'm starting to get uh, YouTube seriously. So, as you can see in this episode, we are, I'm going to show you what's on my phone. First to start off, I have upgraded my previous Galaxy S6 to the newest Galaxy S7. Now the newest feature is uh, always on display, probably the most important one of the newest uh, edition of the Samsung flagship phone. So I'm now running uh, Android 7.0. As you can see on the About Device section in Settings, there are many changes in the UI. It includes uh, now the fact that it's no longer uh, TouchWiz. It's not longer TouchWiz since uh, Android 6 and the Galaxy S6, but now they've coded Samsung's experience. As you can see, uh, with Android 7, it's version 0.8. Now the Samsung experience is 8 version. So uh, there are many changes in that uh, Android UI. As you can see, there is a brand new settings application, which is uh, coming from the Grace UX, which was included in the Note 7. You know how that uh, finished. I'm uh, using uh, Google Pixel Launcher, which version is 7.1.1. Uh, I can leave uh, a link for download link for it in the description if you want just leave a comment so here you can have app suggestions to show the google app which uh, actually don't works because it's not installed as a system application and to allow home screen rotation when the phone is rotated i'm talking about this there is probably a drop of frame rate because i'm recording it through az screen recorder uh, so if there is a drop in the frame rate, it's because of the application, not because of the telephone itself. Uh, so I really like that uh, launcher, it uh, has grown on me. The 5 dock is perfect, you can see that you can have all your apps when you swipe up from the bottom. Uh, I have that white wallpapers, which I don't think uh, many users know how to get. When you click and hold, open wallpapers, scroll to the bottom, there is uh, next texture, textures, there is wife wallpapers option. Uh, it includes a couple of uh, wallpapers which came from Google and are included in the newest pixel. Uh, this is my favorite one, but also the Earth one is uh, very good. It uh, gets your location and uh, it just shows you where it's dark and where it's not. So for example, if it's uh, 10 a.m. it's going to be all sunny on that planet uh, but it's just too powerful for my setup so I like to keep that which is simple so now you can see when you walk the phone and wait a couple of seconds after that when you unwalk the phone you can see that animation wait for it like that that you can see that the wallpaper is moving which is uh, very amazing and it's also moving when you scroll through pages so if you want to, me to get that you can uh, always leave a comment and I'll put it into the description so the usual stuff on the first page uh, a couple of social apps soccer or football I love football not soccer okay I mean these are two different things Football is football. The game with the ball, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, soccer, there is... I don't know what that soccer is. It's, I have no comment. So, a uh, couple of games. Here you can here you see the newest Hillquamp. It's very addicting. Premier League for the football fans. Clash Royale 
I'm really into it in the, the social apps. On the second page, same thing, my calendar. Uh, basically, 90% of the applications are updated and this Android is coming uh, probably in a month from now. So you're going to get it very soon. Um, the addition that I like the most is that when you play music, for example, let me search for your boy Eminem. And when you play music, let's get beautiful. When you play it, when you walk the screen, and always on display, you can double tap to open the menu, you can pause it, you can skip through songs, you can then again... But basically with double tap you can do anything. So if you have a notification when, from whatever app, it can be Clash Royale, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, you just double click on it and you just use your fingerprint pattern, pin or whatever you have and it just opens the application and the notification, so it's very nice. Back to the launcher, I really like that on the top corner of the first page there is a weather widget, which also uh, gives me a quick shortcut to the weather, so you can see it. You can scroll from today for tomorrow, you can see the temperatures through all the day, and a 10 day forecast. This is a very quick and easy to check. So, uh, basically, as I said, every, almost every application is being updated. For example, calculator, you, you used to have a green bar on the top row and on the most right row. Now it's kind of with the blue accents. Um, the music app is from the Play Store, so it received the uh, update today and uh, it's just uh, included in the video. When you go to the camera application, you can see that it's the new, it has the newest uh, user interface. With, when you swipe from the right, you can have the effects. When you swipe to the left, there are different modes. You can unlock more if you want. When you swipe up, you just change the camera. When you swipe up again, you get, go back to the other. Uh, there is a setting option. As always, uh, you can pause and see if you're interested in something. Picture size is as before. Now you can save raw images and JPEGs. I'm not sure if that was included in 6.0. Um, video size, you can get up to QHD, which is uh, 4K. Your know, motion photos still here, everything is uh, as normal. So. Uh, there are rumors that Samsung is going to include 7.1.1, uh, this will be the final version. Now I'm running beta 4 of the uh, application, of the software, excuse me. Uh, I can say that it's very smooth when you double tap on the, for example, if I go to the calculator and then I go to the end to the settings, now if I double tap the recent apps it will just switch to menus you can see that frame rate though it's awful it does it is a uh, persistent 60 fps as expected when it's not recording the screen um when you go to the oh the notification center why well, that's one of the most important things on a phone so when you have the notification center, you can see that now on the top as always it uh, has a couple of shortcuts. But now when you swipe down, you can see it's stock live. Oh wait, I just clicked on the music player. So when you swipe down, you can see that animation, which is amazing, I just like it. You can see that you can now swipe through pages and if you want you can search your phone for something if you are ever going to use it, I personally don't. Of course, when you swipe up with two fingers, you get uh, two quick settings. Uh, you can uh, edit the layout so you can make it five by three if you're really going to like it like that. Four by three and three by three. I like three by three because it's as stock as a pixel. Uh, let's check the battery. So uh, when you click 
and hold on power saving for example it opens the battery section of the settings battery usage you can see that now i have 30 percent 10 hours usage and i have used the screen for two hours and 30 minutes it's been a tough day because i always had to have uh, both of them mobile data synchronization and uh, nfc which i actually don't use anymore is well as bluetooth so there is now blue filter white right, which comes from the s7 uh from note 7 excuse me you can turn it manually you can turn it on scheduled from sunset to sunrise it uses your location to locate where you are and then it just uh, gives you the blue white filter when it should be used on the display and home screen settings which can be found you go to settings and then you go to display and home screen uh, you can also find home screen if you're using the samsung uh, launcher let me just switch to it so that i can show you applications default applications home screen Tetris home so if you're using the stock launcher when you you uh, pinch out you can see on the bottom right corner you now have home screen settings so uh, galaxy Waps is gone but now you have that uh, screen grid as always you can change the screen grid of the home screen and now you have home screen content so you can have all of your applications on the home screen and you can uh, have that uh, separate tab screen so here it is you just click on apps and wait them for a while because now it's, uh, i just put it to work so it's normal to i actually don't like that Launcher. I don't know why, I just like stock, stock Android. That's how Android should work, in my opinion. So when you go to settings again, I can quickly switch to launchers and all of your default applications. So if you like internet, you can just click on the Samsung browser, you can use it as your own browser. If you like Chrome, you just click on Chrome and just forget that you have that app browser thing. So, uh, it's very smooth. I think the speaker is louder, but I can, can't confirm it 100%. But I think there's a couple of changes on it. Uh, the, finger split, the fingerprint scanner is faster. That always on display now received the updates which I showed you. Uh, for now, yes, of course, it's a better version, so it has it have its bugs. For example, Wi-Fi is not uh, so stable. Sometimes it uh, it takes a couple of seconds to connect more than it used to before, and a couple more seconds to disconnect and start using uh, and uh, LTE. So, uh, but those things are going to be uh, clear when the final version is out. Uh, on advanced features, now you can see that one-handed mode can be made by a gesture. Swipe up diagonally from either bottom corner, like that. And you can also have that bottoms show home, back and recent, like stock and drink. So uh, that is something very cool and you just tap whatever you want to exit out of it. Quick launch of the camera, multi-window. Multi-window is now native, so when you click and hold, on the recent keys as before you can scroll to your recent apps and when you click on more apps it just opens up all of the applications you have this is going to be there should be made a couple of more improvements on it as well it's not as smooth as it should be device maintains is uh, now newer it has now that performance mode so now it has normal mode, which is uh, best performance for everyday use, game, which enhances your gaming experience, entertainment, and with, with, with which you can enjoy your music and videos, and high performance, you know, it speaks for itself. So guys, uh, this is it, there is nothing uh, 
more that uh, you can cover up. In a couple of months, maybe January, till the end of January, probably the beginning of February, you should get the update. It's uh, very nice. It makes the device a lot faster. Apps opening speeds are faster. My animation is slow because under developer options I've made it to 1.5 the transition because I like it uh, a little bit slower. So this is it guys. This is uh, Android 7.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S7 as well as S7 Edge. So uh, if you want you can uh, always drop a like on the video, if you want you can always comment, ask something if there is. I uh, know these are not the best type of videos you can watch on the channel and on YouTube at all, but this is going to improve. I am now going to do my best, I'm working on creating the channel, making it bigger. So I would like if you are the first of, one of the first of my subscribers so that we can make the channel big and uh, do some amazing stuff and projects. Maybe giveaways are going to come and a lot of interesting and new stuff. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.